All right, you guys, the spring patterns are continuing to roll out. Vogue is next and they have their spring patterns ready for us. So let's jump right in. I wanted to address the rebranding since that was such a hot topic with Simplicity and McCall's brand. It looks like Vogue is remaining the same for now. Um, it also doesn't look like they made any changes with the photos. Um, there's not going to be names for the patterns. It's just going to be the numbers that we are all used to. So um, I don't know if this is something that is in the works down the pipeline for Vogue. Like they only had enough time and resources to do a couple brands at a time. Um, or if Vogue is going to remain sort of this classic type of look to be determined but let's jump right into the patterns that they have for us for spring the very first one is this rachel comey uh, jacket belt and pants so you can see that the whole look is a bit oversized we have a lovely description here loose fitting lined jacket has self belt extended shoulders shoulder pads lapped back seams with overcast edge and two-piece sleeve with working vent. Loose fitting pants have front pleats, side pockets, carriers, back welt pocket with flap and front fly closure. So a lot going on here. The jacket is really beautiful. I'm eager to see what fabrics they suggest. I'm not 100% sold on this kind of like oversized slouchy look. I don't think it looks really great on me or Actually, I just don't think I like it very much. It looks great on other people, but not really my style. These pants are interesting with this seaming, these really large uh, belt carriers, and this seam down here as well. Here's the back view. This is interesting how it dips down in the back. It's not supposed to do that. And then there's the whole look together. It kind of feels like the jacket doesn't go with the pants in a way. I don't know why I feel that way. Here's, this is what I want to see. Um, it's almost like this is very 80s and this is very futuristic. So I'm a little bit confused about sort of all of them together. Um, there's our pattern cover. Here's our line art, which I'm sure, yeah, it's going to look really straightforward. Boxy blazer, like they said, two-part sleeve, patch pockets, um, some back darts, and this little interesting back vent thing. Let's see if we can find a close-up of that. So it almost looks like, what? Did, how did they describe it? Lapped back seams with overcast edge. So it's like a surged exposed seam here, which is really interesting. And then there's your belt and then here's your pants. I know that some of you are gonna make this and it's gonna look like a million bucks. So I'm not, I'm not knocking it that hard, like no one should make it. I just think that it's not really my style. Okay, wool gabardine, crepe and linen blends is what they're recommending. You need a whole bunch of notions. Um, it comes in sizes 6 to 22, basically. Here is your fabric yardage. So you have your jacket and belt, and then you have your pants. So just under, just about five and a half yards for both. And no finished garment measurements. I also wanted to say a lot of you commented on the McCall's patterns when they didn't have any finished garment measurements, um, saying that alluding to the fact that you didn't think that they were going to be on the pattern envelopes either. I, I do think, I haven't been over to check, but I do think that the those measurements will be on the envelope. They're just not putting them online. That said, though, there are a lot of people out there who only order patterns from their website. And so those folks are going to be a little bit, you know, screwed because there's there's no no re reference for them at all but if you're in the store I do think that they are still going to be on the um, envelopes okay now we have a Guy La Roche pattern this one's okay now this is also an oversized blazer look with pants uh, this one however looks a lot more updated to me this one looks a lot more modern a lot more like today um, 
so if you can tell the difference between the last one and this one, maybe you'll agree with me. I kind of like, these are pockets, that's pretty cool. I do also like the color blocking, that's fun. Um, this, I don't know if there's something in here, like a shoulder pad or something, but that seems really bumpy to me. But I guess if it's supposed to be like a traditional tailored blazer, like that belongs to your boyfriend or something, then okay, that kind of makes sense. Uh, but it also has an asymmetrical hem here uh, and in the back. And then the pants come with a pattern, but they don't show the pants in any of the photos, which is annoying. Or like the top of the pants, I mean. Oversized line jacket has extended shoulders, shoulder pads, fronts. Yeah, it does have shoulder pads. Front snap closures and extra long two-piece sleeves with working vent. Well, how long are they? Oh, here they are. Extra long is right. Is that a, is that a new thing? Uh, fitted taper pants have side seam pockets and front fly closure. All right, so there's our jacket. And then, oh, actually the pants are really nice and tailored. I wouldn't have guessed. I thought we were gonna get another elastic waistband, but nope. All right, medium weight crepe, linen blends, and gabardine is what they're recommending for the fabrics here. Um, some buttons, shoulder pads, snaps, hook and eyes, you know, the usual. And then here's all your fabric requirements. They did break it down uh, for the uh, color blocking. So this is your right side and this is your left side. Interfacing, fully lined, contrast lining that's interesting Contra you would think that it would just be all the same for the lining but they broke all that up too I guess but what about so they have fusible <laughs> interfacing with missing an in for the pants and lining for the pants but what about the pants main fabric that's also missing. Oh, here's this in centimeters. Oh, no, here it is, B, right here. That's kind of hard to see. There it is, though. Okay. And then, yeah, no measurements again. Next up, we have Tom and Linda Platt. You guys, I have to say, the past few seasons, Tom and Linda Platt have really been killing it. I've been loving all of the patterns that they have been bringing to us. So that's really exciting. This is a super cool little dress with this overlay that is gathered into one side, uh, kind of like tucked under a waistband and then hangs down like a little sash. Super, super cute. It has a long sleeve, beautiful hourglass shape, kind of like a fitted, um, fitted skirt. Here it is in black. It looks like a million bucks. You could go to just about any event under the sun in a dress like this. And it would be perfectly appropriate. It's not too dressy, not too casual. This is great. I love, love, love this dress. Here's the back. Invisible zip, a little bit of a dart here, a back vent. Super cool. Lined fitted dress with right front drape gathered to midriff, invisible black zipper, and sleeve variations. That's cool. I bet it's going to eat up a bunch of fabric, but that's okay. Cute. So cool. Oh, and there's a sleeveless version. Oh, duh. That's what she's wearing. Yeah, I mean, I like them both equally. Cool. Um, crepe, ponty knit. Rayon Shally, really? I don't know about that. I don't really like Rayon Shally in a fitted, anything fitted along the hip. You know what I mean? Um, and then there's some lining suggestions. And then all you need is a zipper and a hook and eye. Sizes 6 up to 22. And then here's your fabric requirements. So that is shocking that that there's no way that's impossible i want to 
get this pattern and test this. There's no way you can make even the sleeveless dress with this huge overlay. I don't know. In under two yards of fabric? No, that's a mistake. I don't believe that for one second. I would sincerely question that um, before you run off and buy fabric to make this. <laughs> All right, now we have uh, a non-designer Vogue pattern. So this was designed in-house. Cute. It's got a little crossover wrap with these off the shoulder. This is going to be adorable at all your spring weddings and graduations. This would even work for a prom dress depending on how, you know, casual your prom is. Then you have this version that does not have the crossover but has this still asymmetrical thing happening. Look how sharp that one looks. And then there it is, color blocked. Here it is in all white, wow. She looks like rich. <laughs> okay, cool. I think this is a knit. Wow, yeah, all of these look very expensive. So many photos. I love that, although there's really not much to see on this one. It is still nice. Wow, that's cool. Lined, close-fitting dress with invisible side zipper and bodice variations for two-way stretch knits only. I think it looks great. And, I, you know, you can even change this to be a little bit, you know, more flared. I'm surprised I didn't include a little, you know, simple skirt that's a little bit wider, too. Just, you know, I just would be a little bit more comfortable. The thing with it is... Like, I don't need this, you know? Like, I don't need that. <laughs> That's why I like a more loose-fitting skirt or like a more flared skirt. But yeah, I think it's really cool. It definitely would be fun to construct and see how it's all put together. This, I feel like, is just turned under and, you know, top-stitched. But um, this little crossover one, let's go to the color blocked one is like an extra it's like an overlay all right two-way stretch knits 50% stretch rayon spandex or cotton spandex so not even ponty jersey would be too lightweight so they're really limited it to the rayon and cotton spandexes Span die? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so you need some elastic. I think that's for, oh shoot, A and B. A and B, so maybe there's some elastic in this little shoulder thing. And then single fold bias tape also. Huh. And then A, B, C, and D all have zipper and seam binding. Interesting. Six to 22 is the range on the sizes. So you need one yard for the dress and then one and a quarter yards just for that little overlay. And then two yards for the dress that's like cut off the shoulder. This is interesting. So you can only make this dress out of fashion fabric, which I guess there aren't many knits that are cut into 45 or anything smaller than 60, so I just never noticed that before. And then do they give lining suggestions? No, they didn't. That's interesting. I would usually use like a trico or something like that. All right. Next up. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. Another in-house design. Okay, so it's a pretty straightforward shape. I probably have a thousand dresses like this that are just fit with a cute little A-line skirt. But this one has these contrast bands that are sewn almost like a pleat over, uh, over the dress. 
That is so interesting. And then the little sleeve, you know, cap sleeve. Line dresses with fitted bodice have shaped bands, side seam pockets, and invisible back zipper contrast and length variations. So there it is. And the midi length. Knee length. You know, I don't consider myself to be like a retro, you know, into like the vintage type of clothing, but this feels very 50s to me, 60s even, and I love it. I love it a lot. It's just really sharp looking. All right, here's our line drawings. Like I said, pretty straightforward in the design of the shape, but the, I am dying that would just be so much fun to do, I think. Yardage, we're looking for another Ponty knit, wool crepe or linen. So definitely, this one might be linen actually, definitely something with a little bit more structure and weight to it. Um, they are probably reserving some of the rayons and all of that for summertime. So I'd like that they are paying attention to the fact that springtime still warrants a little bit of coverage and a little bit of warmth from the fabrics that you're wearing. All right, six to 22 was the size range. And then, so you need about three yards of fabric for the knee length one, the contrast and then the main body of the dress. Yep, same here. And then it looks to be fully lined. That's great. Super cute. So far, so good on these. Look at this cool one. This feels very much ready to wear, like they picked it right up out of White House Black Market. All right, this is another in-house design. Um, it's got this like really wide set neckline, but with this little guy kind of poking out, that's a lot of fun. This is beautiful, very flattering. Slim fitting skirt, um, says it's lined back zipper, sleeve and contrast variations here it is in a suiting oh my god how cool is that cut on the bias oh i need that i'm obsessed with that again kind of like a retro we kind of vibe this little thing you know definitely takes it more modern but the fit the silhouette is very 50s cute they really are killing it even the length of it yes Beautiful back dart situation. There might even be something on the sleeve cap. We'll look at that a little bit. Lapped zipper, which I don't know why they're still doing that. Like, just put an invisible zipper in. You know, does anybody really think that that's, like, attractive? But the pattern matching is great. Another thing... She might have a little bit of scoliosis. Uh, okay, sorry. The little things that distract me. Okay, I think we found all of the features and details. Super cool. All right, crepe, linen, and stretch wovens. Like a um, cotton sateen. This would be perfect in a cotton sateen. Or any kind of suiting with a little bit of stretch in it. All you need is a zipper and six to 22 on the size range. Again, we've got the main <laughs> fabric and a contrast again. Um, for B though, it's all in one, less than two yards. How are they doing that? I guess when you have a slim skirt, it really doesn't take up much fabric. I wouldn't know that because I don't really make those <laughs> skirts, but I love this. I love this little cut on the bias detail. Super cool. Okay, now, oh, look at this fun one. All right, oh, Sandra Rhodes. I never would have guessed. Girlfriend really coming through with the sassy, flirty, sexy number. So this has a incredibly low deep V with a seam across the bust. That's odd center front seam, and then all of these little flounces, which I know no one wants to hem. There's the back, cool. 
Wait, hold on. Go back. Nope, just the two seams. Okay. How fun. It looks like they use the um, rolled hem foot on their serger, which, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Because that's a lot. <laughs> that's really cute. Wow, look at the shape of it when it's flat. That's so interesting. Yeah, this seam across the bust, though, I'm not 100% on that. But obviously, you know, the lighter your fabric is, these don't stick out like this. They kind of fall flat close to your body. Like here, I think she's probably spinning or something, so it's flaring out a little bit. But you can see here how it lays. I think that's a lot of fun. Crepe de Chine, Rayon Chalet, and Linen Blends. Honestly, anything lightweight, I think, would work. Are they giving you fabric for the contrast? No, I think this must be the Crepe de Chine. And linen blend, that's such an odd, that's not like, which of these things is not like the other? <laughs> okay, so zipper and hook and eye, six to 22 on the size range, and then, yeah, two yards of fabric. And then, oh yeah, that um, the, the ruffles or flounces, whatever you wanna call them, they take up a lot. But thankfully, crepe de chine is relatively inexpensive. It's usually a polyester, something or another, so cool. Another good one. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, I am in so much trouble. Remember your resolutions, Lindsay. Remember your resolutions. You do not need the bright new shiny thing. Okay, all right, I'm better now. Okay, so we have this surplus bodice sewn into a waistband with this really wide, you know, below the knee length skirt and a cute little cap sleeve. Look, they found an Asian model with a tattoo. Let's check it out. Ooh, what does it even say? Maybe something in her native language. Look how pretty. I don't know if Emily Holman is watching this or if you guys even know who Emily Holman is, but I'm sure she is like, got this in her cart already. This is looks just like something she would make and wear. So yeah, here's this version just has a long sleeve. Here's the back. Is this a full circle skirt? That's amazing. That one, this other one might have pleats or something. There, it is seamed. Look how cool that is. That's why, th that's why it looks so good because the shaping is on point. Yeah, I think the skirts are the same. They're just very full which I don't hate. All right, linen, lightweight denim, or eyelet. Totally. And it is fully lined with a fitted bodice, side seam pockets, back zipper, and sleeve variations. Bias tape for the little sleeve, I think. And a zipper, six to 22 on the size range. And yeah, right at four yards of fabric for both of them, really. So, but I think it's cute. I don't know that I would be able to pull off the mid calf length because I'm just not that tall, um, but it would be easy to shorten using the length and shorten lines that are provided on the pattern. But yeah, I'd probably shorten it by like eight inches. So maybe I could get away with less fabric too, you know? But I really do love the full skirt. I really like this long sleeve version. I am into sleeves lately. I don't know if it's because I moved to Charlotte and it's just like a little bit cooler here and I don't really, I mean, all my dresses are sleeveless. And so I find myself, you know, covering them up with like a cardigan or something and that just feels wrong. All right, Julio Cesar is bringing us this really funky number. Okay, so it's also too small right here. Look at all that pulling. You can see how tight it is across her entire shoulder. I'm surprised this button is staying closed. Um, okay, but empire waist with a bunch of ruffles, a front button placket, collar with a contrast thing happening. There's also like some shape to this sleeve. It's pretty wide sleeve and then a contrast cuff. Here's the back. All right, dress is semi-fitted through bust. Mm -hmm. 
It has contrast bands, raised waist, gathered skirt, cut on the bias. That's cool. And shaped hem with side slits. Optional self fabric selvage trim. Does anybody know what that means? Self fabric selvage trim. Well, self fabric is like the main fabric. Selvage trim. I don't know what that means. Here's the, you can see the um, hem a lot better here. So it's like curved and then very full and then comes back around. Cotton shirting, broadcloth, chambray linen. Note, fabric selvage will show as trim on front band. So this is the selvage of this floral fabric? Why? And you can see it is pulling now that I'm zoomed in. I don't get it. I don't get why. So now when you, cause okay, so you're going to buy fabric and like, hello, we all don't live in New York City where we have, you know, unlimited fabric to go see in person. We order it online and now we have to reach out to customer service for them to tell us what the selvage looks like. Mm, no. Um, okay, 13 5 8 inch covered buttons, extra small to 2X, and a ton of fabric plus your contrast. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave all that right here. Okay, wow, this Asia model got a lot of work. Okay, next up we have a in-house tunic and pants pattern. So you've got an asymmetrical waist. It's like true waist down to your high hip with a sleeve, nice high neck, slit below the knee length. Yeah, I mean, this is a very, oh, that doesn't really help. Um, oh gosh. I can see how it's for somebody. Let's see what these pants look like. Nope, they're not gonna show us the pants. It's kind of like the wear the pajamas outside thing, but also with, it's also like the dress over the pants trend too, like those two things. Had a baby and Vogue 1686 is what they named it. <laughs> fitted tunic has left side slit, center back zipper and contrast variation. Semi fitted pull on pants, there we go have side pockets. So we've got some more elasticized waist pants, but just a couple little darts here. And there you have it. Okay, yardage. Crate back satin, yeah, rail and chalet, sure. Linen blends, okay. A zipper, hook and eye, and some elastic for your pants. Extra small through 2X. Um, one and a half yards for there's a contrast for a huh. does anybody see the contrast on a are these two different fabrics now I'm real confused y'all do see where it says contrast a one yard Okay, and then B is the Asian model's version, and then here's your pants. Good gracious, more than two and a half yards for some elasticized pants. I mean, they're a little wide, but not that wide. I feel like all they did here was reverse the crepe back satin. You know, where is, it is two different. Huh, well that's even more weird. <laughs> I'm just so annoyed, <laughs> just, I just can't. Okay, 
Sandra Bettina, Mrs. Vest in this really chic perforated leather. Okay, so it's got a grown on sleeve, a kind of like a seam under the bust. This whole belt buckle thing, this is very like 90s, late 80s, early 90s situation. This, you know, in the length of it all. Here it is in a netting. That's, <laughs> she looks like, what the heck am I wearing? Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> she was like, I'm firing my agent today. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. It's very chainmail looking from far away. It's different. That's for sure. I like the shape of it. The shape is good. I'm sure there's a lot of really cool, fun fabrics that you could make this out of, you know, knowing that it's a layering piece. Very loose fitting vest has front pockets, no shoulder seam. Oh, snap closure and hem band. So normally with a grown on sleeve, you would have a seam on the top of your shoulder, but you're there, right? There isn't one. So this is all one piece. I think it's kind of cool. In the right fabric, I think it could be super fun. Boiled, <laughs> boiled wool is what they mean. Faux leather, linen, and novelty shears. Yeah. Uh, linen, hmm. Let's go back. I don't know about a linen. I don't know about a linen. And then interfacing, they interfaced it with organza, like sewn in. I guess because you can't iron leather and you, you don't want to melt the, um, you know, the glue on the back of the iron on interfacing through the mesh. So they're doing sewn in. I still think it's cool. Okay. A has... One decorative snap, which I guess is what that is. One large snap, steam a seam. And B has two large snaps, which are down here. Three packages of half inch double fold bias tape, which is what all of this is covered in. And then also steam a seam. Huh. And then remember, she has her today's fit situation. So her size combinations are just completely different than anyone else's. But a couple yards of fabric. I think that that's cool. And it's not like anything that I already own in terms of patterns. So that's also kind of fun. If I came across a sheer that I thought was super unique and fun and wearable for me, like I wouldn't wear either one of these, but I could see myself wearing it if it were in like a super cool, fun fabric that I loved. Okay, we've got another Sandra Betsina. Uh, pattern. This one is, she's calling it a top. It kind of reads a lot like a jacket to me, but it's got this really exaggerated shawl collar thing. And then some almost like pin tucks for this very wide bell sleeve. Otherwise pretty, I mean, pretty straight, not super fitted. Gathered sleeves, I guess. There might be like a yoke here too. <clears throat> Oh yeah, you can see the seam lines a lot better on this one. You can, and this reads more like a top to me too. A little red riding hood I'm getting, but these really cool seams here. That's kind of cute. The back has this yoke, but, and then this thing split open. I don't know. That just seems weird now. Like, how do those things stay up? I guess they're tacked down. Pretty seeming here, too. All right. Close fitting top. Well, I wouldn't really call it that. Has princess seams, lined yoke, forming an oversized collar, contrast and sleeve variations. 
What are the slave variations? Oh, so one has gathers and one doesn't. Okay. The body is really cool. Like the, from, <laughs> from here down, this is nice. I just don't know about all this. But you know what I'm thinking? If any of you are following me on Instagram, which if you're not, will you please? Um, I've been doing Project Runway, like live commentary while the show has been on every Thursday. And last week they did like a heritage theme where everyone sewed something inspired by their heritage. And there is a woman on there from some Asian country and I can't remember which one. And what she made is sort of similar. The sleeve is similar. Um, I, what I'm trying to say is I think that this is what she should have made instead of what she actually made. Um, what she actually made was a little bit too literal to me, but I'm getting like an Asian vibe from this. <clears throat> okay. Now we have another little top. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. So this is a Y. She has another tattoo right here. Girlfriend is tatted up. Um, another wide open neckline. Then it has this overlay that ties into this super long sashy thing. Then you've got these big sleeves cinched in at the wrist. And then the cuff hangs down almost past your fingertips, which I hope you're not going anywhere to eat. I hope you're not playing with children or babies. You pretty much can not type. I don't know how you'd be on your phone. So maybe you're just standing around somewhere. And then you can wear this top. <laughs> just so not practical. Oh, okay, good. They gave you a practical sleeve here. Normal sleeve. I hate this fabric, but this is pretty. This neckline is really nice. I don't, what do we think about this thing? I think that's kind of cool. Visual interest on like some, I, sometimes your clothes can just be so boring, you know, but this is fun. This is so impractical, but this is really fun. Here's the back. Like, where are my hands? <laughs> it looks so weird. So weird. And then there's this. Okay, cool. Loose fitting pullover top has right front panel where the wrong side might show, pulled through self-fabric loop on the left side seam. Narrow hems and sleeve variations. Cool. Oh, there you go. I like this. What are they recommending for fabric? Crepe, rayon chalet, and charmeuse. So lightweight drapey fabrics. Okay. I guess the links are the same. Um, six to 22 on the sizing. Wow, that's a lot of fabric. I can make a dress for that. That's why I never make tops because I'm like, oh, well, I have enough fabric to either make a top where I also have to find pants or I can just make a dress and already have an outfit. Okay, another top. This one is super deep, again. Big sleeve. Twisty little thing with a, a, a little uh, overlapped asymmetrical panel-y thing coming out from the bottom. Oh, gosh. That feels cool. Well, that's really chic. The back is pretty straightforward. It's a little long for my taste. Are they both the same length? I can't tell. Top is loose fitting through bust with pleated and gathered front overlays, center back zipper and sleeve variations. Yeah, I love this sleeve a lot. I feel like I wanna hike the whole thing up. So I don't know, can you shorten it way up here? Probably not because then you wouldn't be so deep V and this would sit at the natural waist, which it might be for her, I can't tell. And then this would be like a couple inches shorter too. Yeah, I think the lengths are the same. 
That would just be fun to learn how to make. It looks like a top and then this part's an overlay. That's what that extra little bit is there. I wonder if you can even shorten it. Maybe not. Crepe back satin rayon chalet ooh, or even lightweight jerseys. All right, some buttons, a zipper, single fold bias tape, six to 22 on the sizing. And then yeah, a lot of fabric, which I figured for this little loop-de-loop -loop thing. Why not just make this into a dress? Could you make it longer and just, would that be cool? Something about that middle, you know, that low hip length on a top that I just, I don't know, I don't love that. All right, now we've got an Ann Klein top. I can't remember the last time I've seen an Ann Klein pattern. So, grown on sleeve with the top sleeve, top shoulder seam. The fabric is cut different for the cuff as well as these little inset pieces. And then it's got like a bit of a little train that's got some fullness to it. Here's another version that's a little bit more straightforward and also has this notched collar and a different sleeve. So basically two totally different tops. This is like a peplum. Oh, but wait, there's something right there too. That's cool. Look how good that looks. I love that uninterrupted stripe. Yeah, it really is two different tops, you guys. Let's look at these line drawings. Top A is fitted through bust, has dolman sleeves with gusset and invisible back zipper. Top B is very loose fitting, pullover style with shaped hemline and slits. I mean, that's two different patterns. Two totally different garments. Um, so yeah, I still can't figure out what all this is, though. But it's cool. I like it. And then here's this one, which is, again, pretty straightforward, pretty basic, but this one's cool. All right, crepe, round chali, stretch wovens. I don't know about that. I mean, lightweight. Uh, invisible zipper and two buttons for your um, cuffs. And then... Of course, the one I like takes a lot of fabric. That's all right, though. I think it's cool. All right, this is a Marcy Tilton one. So Marcy's are always really very kind of funky and asymmetrical and a lot of like weird stuff going on. Um, so you can see some of that here with this, you know, funky pocket. There's a whole bunch of top stitching or pick stitching. Um, a funky little pocket here. So some really cool stuff that she does. This one has that same pocket. That's cute. But missing the one on the bust. The shape of this I think is really cool. How it kicks out in the back a little bit. Can you see that? And I love this little sleeve. This is cute. I would totally wear this. Oh, look, you can really see the sleeve here. Look at all that. All those seams and pleats and um, darts. Same here, I think. Cool. I think that that's really cute. I only really like this version, but the only difference is this decorative stitching and whatever this is. So they're not that different. All right, linen, shirtings, lightweight denim, quilting cottons, stretch wovens. Yep. Wow, I'm surprised you need this many notions for A. Where are all those buttons? There's two on the sleeve and all these down the front, I guess. All right, fair enough. Twill tape, ribbon, embroidery floss. 
and then eight buttons. It says just for A, but it's really for both. Extra small through 2X. <clears throat> And then, yeah, two and a quarter yards for the larger size. I think that I, I like this, I think, because the print is cute with the white linen pants. I just think that it's a very pulled together springtime look. I love that. All right. Look at this, funky. They did a lot of this last year, and it felt like they didn't go in enough. They were too subtle with it and it almost looked like a mistake. This is a very intentional asymmetrical button band, like no qualms about it. It was designed this way. Um, so we've got this longer length. It's like a few inches above the knee. Uh, collar sleeve with a cuff. Here's a shorter version. Yeah, I mean, it's not for me. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it that even though the asymmetrical button band is supposed to make it so like modern and cool, it still feels a little bit tired. I can't really explain why I feel that way. I just do. Loose fitting shirt has collar and collar band, asymmetrical button closure, and length variations. I think there are a lot of people out there though that will make this and it will look really cool. And it's also one of those things that's very noticeable. Like people will compliment you. People will notice that that is a very unique top. All right, yardage would be shirtings, right? Poplin, broadcloth, chambray, gingham, 10 or 11 buttons, extra small through 2X. And then, yeah, a lot of fabric because it's so loose fitting, I guess. All right, we are closing in here. Look how pretty this is. Whoa. Okay, um, we're looking at the skirt. It looks like almost like a pencil skirt with a wrap and then this huge overlay thing that's like a circle skirt but cut in this funky way. Huh. Look at, uh, so this is without the overlay. This is what the underskirt looks like. Well. She doesn't look like a million bucks. Here's the back of each of them. The fabric that they chose for this is perfect. They did a really great job with that. Because this could be really weird in the wrong kind of fabric. But I think this stripe gives it so much visual interest because your eye is going all these different places with all these different wraps and overlays and stuff. And look how cute these are. So cute. That would be an easy DIY in case you guys are wondering. Just hawk loose some beads on. Anyways, um, close fitting, lined, mock wrap skirt with biased... Bias waist facings, top stitched hem facings, and invisible center back zipper. Overskirt with asymmetrical hemline has narrow hems, wrong side shows. Two darts on each side of the back, which is nice. That is just wild. I don't know that I would wear that here, but if I were going on vacation somewhere, I would totally wear that. And this kind of like helps me overcome my um, self-conscious, you know, backside in a fitted skirt conundrum that I have because it's basically like a full skirt along the bum. It's only 
shown on this front leg thing. That's cool. All right, fabric. Crate linen blends, which I think is what this is, and gabardine. A seven inch zipper, hook and eye, and twill tape. Six to 22 on the sizing. And then you need right about two yards of fabric. Oh, B, you need four yards of fabric, my word. I'm surprised you can even make B out of 45 inch fabric. With this thing? Huh, that one is one of those that might be stuck in my head for a little bit. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, Dynasty. That's my first thought. Okay, so you've got a skirt with a little pointy hem and then all of these, um, what is it called on a wedding dress? Bustles? Am I saying that right? Is that what even what that is? I don't know. Funky little things. Oh. Huh. I mean... I think your sewing skills would have to be pretty spectacular. To get this lining to look perfect when you flip it to the wrong side. I think that this is a cotton sateen possibly. And then the lining shows. I mean, I can see that at like, a, you know, work event at night or like, you know, a fancy, like, I don't know, like a, I want to say nightclub, but not like, not like the kids nightclub, like an adult grown up nightclub like what nightclub used to mean <laughs> not with like the rave music and stuff oh gosh um that might be dupioni silk which is pretty cool there's the back i don't know that could be cool but again i'm where am i going to go in that oh my word look at the line drawing That is nuts. <laughs> okay. Fail, file, fail, crepe, sateen, poplin. Um, they don't say anything about the lining, which if it shows, I kind of feel like <sighs> Fitted, lined, wrap skirt with shaped hemline, hook and bar closure, contrast variation. Hmm. Two buttons, four pair of hook and bars, six to 22 on the sizing. And then you really don't need that much fabric considering. So is A, oh, contrast A. Is that? Is that not the lining? I'm confused. I hate whenever it's confusing. Yeah, it's separate from the lining. I don't know. I don't know what contrast A is. Maybe it's like a, a facing. It's sewn like a facing. I don't know. But okay, there you have it. All right. Oh, I think we're going to end on a high note here. We have got um, these pants sitting at the waist. A uh, deep pleat in the front, cropped length, uh, and a, maybe a side seam pocket, hard to tell. Look at them in this fabric. Again, with the scooping down, I'm not sure it's supposed to do that. And then here's the back, another lapped zipper. <laughs> Poor little zipper pull is sticking straight out. Looks pretty from the back. There is a little funky funk right here, which is so, oh, look, another tattoo. She probably has 20 tattoos, all litty bitty ones that you can barely see. Um, so this is kind of not cute. And honestly, like how this, I don't know what fabric this is. Maybe that's what's causing it to do this, but that looks a little funny. 
Oh, this is doing it too. I think this pocket is causing some problems um, where it's sewn in. It just seems like it's pinched on the sides. You know what I mean? But other than that, it looks really great. This has got to be a linen uneven hem. That's concerning. Maybe because she's fuller through the hip and it's pulling up, she needed a little full seat adjustment or something. Or hers was the one that was dipping down in the front. So maybe that has something to do with it. Oh, pants. On my last nerve. Pants have waistband, front pleats, side pockets, back zipper, and length variations. So it is a slash pocket, not totally a side seam pocket. So I don't know what's going on in there to make it like, I don't know, sit so funny. So is this a seam? I think it's a pleat and then you, um, uh oh, and then you, yeah, I think it's just a really pressed pleat. And then in the back, what's happening in the back? There's no anything there, but they make it look like there is. Okay, we get it. Tropical wool, linen blends, lightweight denim, and wool crepe. One nine inch zipper, one hook and eye, size six to 22. And then, yeah, a bunch of fabric. Well, not a bunch, but you could do a lot of things with almost two and a half yards of fabric, am I right? And then just a little bit of lining for the waistband, fusible for the waistband, and that's it. Yeah, even hers is higher in the back. Ugh. All right. So, but that I think brings us to the end of Vogue Spring. What did you guys think? Do they not have a lookbook? Oh, that's a bummer. Um, I thought that we started off pretty strong. I mean, like all through here, like all of these were so good, so good, so good. And then things got a little off the rails a little bit um, with a couple that, you know, jumped out at me. Um, along the way but I think as far as Vogue goes they have lived up to their brand of creating high fashion garments that are not basic they do not look like any of the other patterns that are being drafted out there these days they look like what you would find in high high end um, ready to wear department stores um, places like that people that have something to say with their clothes um should love this collection i think it looks really really great um and certainly clothing that people would be shocked that you made which i think is always fun but let me know what you think of all of these patterns in the comments section below and i will see you all very very soon thanks for watching bye